What's up everybody? Got the Jetta sitting here and I'm loading her up with parts and in the shop here just grabbing what I need. I'm moving up to Salt Springs for however long until this coronavirus ends. And yeah, I've been stocking up on these extremely cheap fuel prices. I've got diesel and I got fuel or gas and I got high tests and regular. Yeah, so uh Anyway, this is my new snowmobile. I don't know if I ever showed it yet. I don't think so. Player 700 Classic. Works pretty good. It's in good shape. 2004, I think, maybe. I forget. Anyway. Runs good. Drives good. Clutch is making weird noise, so I gotta get that looked at. But I'll do that by next summer. Or by next winter. Probably do it this summer. I'm gonna go out this winter and play around in the snow, I think. She's got quite a bit of power. It's fun, so. 300, needs some work. She's got some leaky seals and a few odd things. This rear end's getting in rough shape too, I think. So, I'm looking for a 350 Honda and I'm gonna take the rear end out of it and put it in this. Some parts out of my Ranger, so if anybody needs parts, I got all kinds of parts, but it's in Nova Scotia. It's a transfer case out of one of them. Works good. Uh, but anyway, to stuff that you'll find more interesting. Well, anybody that knows about Volkswagens, how the hell do you make this button work? It's so annoying. You have to pick the key, and this hardly works, but sometimes it does. Oh, it worked, first try. And then I can get into the trunk. Freaking Volkswagen. And yeah, this is lawn tractor stuff, so what do you guys think of that? Anyway, it's a 12 and a half Briggs IC Gold. I'm gonna take the piston out of the, the motor that I got in the Murray right now, and I'm gonna put the piston in this, in this uh, block, and probably use the crank out of that other motor too it's a bigger motor 13 and a half I'm gonna put it in the smaller block and if all goes well I'll have a motor that runs a little bit better again and doesn't smoke as long as the rings are okay because the other one I didn't run it with an air filter half the time and she took in a lot of mud and a lot of water and yeah, so it kind of ruined that. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll tear her down and see what it looks like. And I got another Peerless there, 206. But it's good parts inside anyway. They're basically the same. Good case. Good seal. So, I got to tear apart the rear end of the Murray. And I'm going to use parts out of this one and make one good rear end out of it. And then I'll make another one up for a spare. And... These tires, they're not going on the Murray, but I need the rims off them. I'm gonna put the rims onto the Murray's tires, even though the tires on the Murray are actually in really bad shape. But these ones here are too small. They're only 18 and a half, or 18 by 9, I guess. 9 and a half. So the other ones I think are 20s or something bigger. Um, yeah, I got shocks here too. I'm toying with the idea of making suspension on the Murray. I don't know if I'm gonna get it or not, but it's there. This is for the 220. The steel's gone in it, and I'm hoping the bearing's not gone too, but I could do something with that because it's leaking really bad. And the 220's in Salt Springs, so I'm gonna work on it there. And so, yeah, I guess that's about it for what I get to show you in there. If all goes well. I'll be working on it this, well, maybe a couple videos after work. I'm still working, even though this COVID thing, so. I'll be working, but maybe after work some days or in the weekend or whatever, so. That's that. And so, so yeah, that's, that's all I got to say for right now. I'll be making a video later if I can remember to. My buddy's gonna cut the exhaust off his Chevy Cruze, so that'll be interesting. Anyway, alright, see you guys later.